whatever we speak of mother mary has repercussions on christ when we say mary mother of god there is a lot that we learn about christ in that title and when the church got together in ephesus in the year 431 it is called the council of ephesus the church got together every time the church was in confusion the church needed the holy spirit to guide the church the church would gather together and ask for the guidance of the holy spirit and that is what happened in the first council the first council that happened with the apostles in jerusalem whether the christian should be circumcised or not lot of confusion the apostles would not go together they had lot of differences and they said come let us sit let us ask the holy spirit to guide us because that is what jesus has told us i am not leaving you orphans i am giving you the spirit of the lord to guide you the spirit of the lord to strengthen you and
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, and my dear children in Christ, today the Mother Church celebrates the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. As we are stepping into this new year, the Church says we have a mother with us, a mother to guide us, a mother to strengthen us, a mother to lead us. With these sentiments in our heart, we look at our mother and tell our mother, Mary, our mother, be with us and guide us and lead us. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race, the grace of eternal salvation. Grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of the Lord. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in grace with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, pray ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ಕಾಂಡದಿಂದ ವಾಚನ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮೋಶೆಗೆ ಹೀಗೆಂದರು ನೀನು ಆರೋನನಿಗೂ ಅವನ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೂ ಹೀಗೆ ಆಜ್ಞಾಪಿಸು ನೀವು ಇಸ್ರಾಯೇಲರನ್ನು ಆಶೀರ್ವದಿಸುವಾಗ ಈ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಆಶೀರ್ವದಿಸಿ ಕಾಪಾಡಲಿ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಮುಖದಿಂದ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ದಯ ತೋರಲಿ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮೇಲೆ ಕೃಪಾ ಕಟಾಕ್ಷವಿಟ್ಟು ಶಾಂತಿಯನ್ನು ಅನುಗ್ರಹಿಸಲಿ ಹೀಗೆ ಅವರು ಇಸ್ರೇಲರ ಮೇಲೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರನ್ನು ಉಚ್ಚರಿಸುವಾಗ ನಾನು ಅವರನ್ನು ಆಶೀರ್ವದಿಸುವೆನು ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಓ ಗಾಡ್ ಬಿ ಗ್ರೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಸ್ be gracious and bless us o oh god be gracious and bless us and let your face shed its light upon us so will your ways be known upon the earth and all nations learn your salvation o oh god be gracious and bless us let the nations be glad and shout for joy with uprightness you rule the peoples you guide the nations on earth O oh God be gracious and bless us let the peoples praise you O oh God let all the peoples praise you may God still give us his blessing that all the ends of the earth may revere him O oh God be gracious and bless us. ಕಡವುಳ್ ತಮ್ಮ ಮಗನೇ ಪೆಣ್ಣಿಡಂ ಪಿರಂದವರಾಗ ಅನುಪಿನಾರು ತಿರುತೂದರ್ ಪವುಲ್ ಕಲಾತ್ಯರ್ಕ್ಕೆ ಎಳೆದಿಯ ತಿರುಮುಖತ್ತಿಲಿರಂದು ವಾಸಗಂ ಅಧಿಕಾರಂ ನಾಲ್ಕು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಮುದಲ್ ಏಳು ವರೆಯಿಲಾನ ಇರೈ ಸೊಟ್ಟೊಡರ್ಗಳ್ ಸಹೋದರ ಸಹೋದರಿಗಳೇ ಕಾಲಂ ನಿರೈವೇರಿಯ ಪೋದು ತಿರು ಚಟ್ಟತ್ತಿರ್ಕು ಉಟ್ಪಟ್ಟಿರಂದ ನಮೈ ಮೀಟು ತಮ್ಮ ಪಿಳ್ಳೆಗಳಾಕುಮಾರು ಕಡವುಳ್ ತಮ್ಮ ಮಗನೈ ಪೆಣ್ಣಿಡಂ ಪಿರಂದವರಾಗವೂ ತಿರು ಚಟ್ಟತ್ತಿರ್ಕು ಉಟ್ಪಟ್ಟವರಾಗವೂ ಅನುಪಿನಾರು ನೀಂಗಳ್ ಪಿಳ್ಳೆಗಳಾಯಿರುಪದಾಲ್ ಕಡವುಳ್ ತಮ್ಮ ಮಗನಿನ್ ಆವಿಯೈ ಉಂಗಳಿಕೊಳ್ ಅನುಪಿ ಉಳ್ಳಾರು ಅಂದ ಆವಿ ಅಪ್ಪ ತಂದೆಯೇ ಎನೆ ಕುಪ್ಪಿಡುಗಿರದು ಆಗೆಯಾಲ್ ಇನಿ ನೀಂಗಳ್ ಅಡಿಮೆಗಳಲ್ಲ ಪಿಳ್ಳೆಗಳ್ ದಾಮ್ ಪಿಳ್ಳೆಗಳಾಗವೂ ಉರಿಮೆ ಪೇರೆ ಉಡೆಯವರ್ಗಳಾಗವೂ ಇರಿಕಿಂಡೀರ್ಗಳ್ ಇದು ಕಡವುಳಿನ್ ಸೆಯಲೇ ಆಂಡವರಿನ ಅರುಳ್ ವಾಕು
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At that time, the shepherds went with haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told to them concerning the child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in our heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters and my dear children in Christ, Today, the Mother Church celebrates the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. Every time we speak about our Mother, every title of our Mother is connected to Jesus. And whatever we speak of our Mother, definitely reflects on Christ and whatever we speak of Christ reflects upon his mother. And today, as the church celebrates Mary, the mother of God, in the 4th century there was a lot of confusion as to how to, how to address our Blessed Mother. Should she be called Mary, the mother of Christ, or Mary, the mother of God? And at that moment of confusion, a council was called, and this discussion was going on in the church, whether Mother Mary is Christotokos or Theotokos whether she is mother of Christ or mother of God. That is why I said, whatever we speak of Mother Mary has repercussions on Christ. When we say Mary, mother of God, there is a lot that we learn about Christ in that title. And when the church got together in Ephesus in the year 431, it is called the Council of Ephesus, the church got together Every time the church was in confusion, the church needed the Holy Spirit to guide the church. The church would gather together and ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And that is what happened in the first council, the first council that happened with the apostles in Jerusalem. Whether the Christian should be circumcised or not, a lot of confusion. The apostles would not go together they had a lot of differences and they said, come, let us sit. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to guide us because that is what Jesus has told us. I am not leaving you orphans. I am giving you the Spirit of the Lord to guide you. The Spirit of the Lord to strengthen you. And the Spirit of the Lord is guiding the church, strengthening the church for the last 2,000 years. He has been with us. 
Every time the church is in a confusion, the Spirit has not abandoned us. And now, they sat together, the bishops, along with the Pope, they sat together and were asking for the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. What should she be called? Whether Mother Mary should be called Mother of Christ or Mother of God? We are in a great confusion. And this has a lot of repercussions on Christ. And in that council, something that came very powerfully is Jesus is Emmanuel. Jesus is God with us. And if Jesus is Emmanuel, she was instrumental in making that Emmanuel possible. God with us, like us, not just with us, like us. She bore the Emmanuel in our womb. And therefore, it is proper that we call Mary, the mother of God, God with us. God with us. And the Pope declares and says, Mary is the mother of God. And when we say Mary, the mother of God, it, it in no way means she is superior to God. Definitely no. When we call Mary the mother of God, it means she is the carrier of God's divinity. Carrier of God's divinity. And that is what each one of us are. When we call Mother Mary, Mary the mother of God, in no way we are saying Mother Mary is superior to God. Definitely no. For example, we have the Prime Minister. And we have the Prime Minister's mother. And the Prime Minister's mother is called the mother of the Prime Minister. That does not make the mother of the Prime Minister to say, from tomorrow I will rule the nation. She cannot do that. The ruling, the power, the glory belongs to the Prime Minister. And just like that, adoration, glory and honor always belong to the Trinitarian God. Always. And when we say Mary, the mother of God, we say she is the carrier of the divinity. Mati Mariamma Navarana Navu Devara Thai and Nuvaga A Daivatva Vanna Huruva Balagi A Immanuel Devarana Namudane Tanda Balagi Aki and Navu Pogodu Teve. Epode the Lam Nam Anai Parte Anai Yerevan in Thai and Pugal Giromo Apode the Lam Nam Anai Parte Chulgirom Anae in Yerevanai Tangi ever and the Yere Presenate Tangi ever. And the Immanuel Kadabulai, Yengadak Kodutaver, and the Kadabul Yengadode, Yendra Anubavate, Anni in Variaga, Nam Petrukulgrom. She gives that experience, God with us. And that is what the Lord wants each one of us. We are the carriers of God's divinity. Let us go back to the Old Testament, to the first book of the Bible, to the book of Genesis. God created man in his own image and likeness. That is the dream of God. That is the dream of God. That each one of us are like God. That each one of us, why are we created in the image and likeness of God? So that we reflect God. We bear God. If God has created us in his likeness and image, that is our dignity. We have to reflect God to others. Devuru namanna avar akara dalli avar rupa dalli srishti sidare endare naavu itararige devara pratinidhi galagu teve. Iraivan yenai avurudiye uruvel saayilil padaitere karar endre chunnal naan iraivanai thang kudiye vore nabaraage rekre. Avarai pradibali ke kudiye vore nabaraage rekre. I must reflect and when we say we are the carriers of Christ, the carriers of the divinity of the Lord, it implies three things very specially. When we say we are created in the image and likeness of God, when we say that we are the carriers of God's divinity just like our blessed mother, if we do not have that blessing, why will Jesus enter into us as the bread as the life-giving bread, God entering into us, if we are not the carriers of divinity, 
If we are not the temple of the Holy Spirit, why will Holy Spirit come upon us and anoint us? If we are not carriers of the divinity, why will Jesus come to us at every Eucharistic celebration? The other day when I was preaching, I said, in a way, each one of us are like little Mother Mary because we are carrying Christ after every Eucharistic celebration. After every Eucharistic celebration, Jesus comes to us. And when we say that we are the carriers of the divinity of the Lord, that we are created in the image and likeness of the Lord, three things are implied. The first thing is our call to holiness. When we say Mary is the mother of God that speaks about our holiness, how holy she was in our thought, in our word, in our deed. And today's gospel says, the shepherds, everyone come and they pay the homage, they glorify. And the gospel is saying, Mary treasured all these things in her heart, pondering. When Jesus was lost in the temple, when Jesus said, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I must be in my father's house? At the, and even there, Luke makes that statement. And Mary was treasuring all these things in her heart. When we call Mary the mother of God, it speaks about her holiness. How holy she was. And that is the call to each one of us. Jesus says, be holy as your heavenly father is holy. It is a call to every one of us. A call to holiness. Call to holiness is for every one of us. When we say that I am the carrier of the divinity of the Lord, it says, the Lord is inviting you to lead a holy life. A life that is worthy of the calling of Christ. When we call Mary the mother of God, it implies her openness to God. She was open to God. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. She was always open to the promptings of God, to the inspirations of God. She was open to God. And we can never be carriers of the divinity of the Lord unless we are open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Unless we are open to the Lord. Unless we open our heart, mind and soul to the Lord, as Jesus himself would say, you shall worship your Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul, with all your strength. That is the openness that Jesus is speaking about. And Mother Mary was that. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. And that was Mother Mary. Our openness was that when we say we are the carriers of Christ, the Lord is inviting us, be open to me. Open to me in this way, with all your heart, with your soul, with your strength, with your might. Be open. And when we say Mary, the mother of God, it means she is a powerful instrument in the hands of God. She is a powerful instrument. She is the dispenser of God's grace. She is dispenser of God's grace. She is someone who gives us the grace of God. She intercedes, receives and gives. And when you and I are called the carriers of the divinity of the Lord, the Lord wants us to be powerful instruments in His hands. Powerful instruments. Giving Jesus wherever we go. When we say powerful instrument, it reminds us of the sending of the Lord. Jesus, the way Jesus sent his apostles, his disciples, go into all the world. Go into all the world as what? As powerful instruments of good news. Proclaim the good news. Bring release to the captives. All that I did, you do it. I am sending you as an instrument as my instrument and that is what each of the apostles were when they went to different parts of the world they were instruments of God they were instruments of God everything that Jesus did the apostles also did they gave life they preached they healed and they converted the hearts of people and brought them back to the Lord 
Today, as we celebrate this feast, it is not only a feast that praises our Blessed Mother, it is also a feast that reminds us of our dignity, that reminds us of our calling. Indu Navu, Acharisubai, Pavitra Vadanta Habba, Mate Mariamanavara, Hogalike Matra Bala, Aki and Hogalu Matra Bala, Namma, Christia, Karienu Saha, Navu, Arthamadi Kodalu, Prabhisu Christri, Sadava Kashavana Kutidar. Indre in the Tribadavi, Namane Kere de Kumurde, Anne Pugada Matumale, Anne Yraven in Thai in Richoli, Yraven Yenek Kodutur Kumaripai Yene Avrudi Sayalaga Padaite, and the main May Man by Andavar and the Kodutrekra, and the main May Wunder the Kulle in the Tribadaname and Buddha like into the this feast invites us for that to know our dignity. And as we hail Mary as the mother of God, as we praise Mary as the mother of God, and Mary is looking at us and saying, you two are carriers of Christ. You two are carriers of his divinity. The Lord has created you and me in his own image and likeness. St. Cyprian says, God became like us so that we might become like him. God became like us so that we might become like him. As we enter into this new year with this dignity of our calling, let us enter. And for that, we ask our Blessed Mother, we tell our Blessed Mother, Mary our Mother, be with us. Mary our Mother, you are our inspiration. You are our company. You are our mother. You are our queen. Help us, strengthen us, intercede for us. Your presence means a lot to us. And Mary will definitely be with us and bless all of us. As we enter into this new year, as we are about to enter into this new year, a few minutes left, we sing that beautiful hymn, Be with us, Mary, along the way. Guide every step. I ask the choir to lead us with that hymn. And we ask our mother, as we enter, we are about to enter into the new year, and we ask our mother, be with us, Mary, along the way. As we entered into this year, we want you at every step of our life, every moment of our life, your presence, your guidance, and your inspiration. Mary, our mother, will definitely guide and inspire all of us. an island journey through life alone since we are most loved by a mother Jesus gave us his soul be with us Mary along the way guide every step we take Lead us to Jesus, your loving Son. Come with us, Mary, come. Jesus met with rejection. Mary stood by the cross. How can a mother desert a son? She will also stand by us. Be with us, Mary, along the way. Guide every step we take. Lead us to Jesus, your loving Son. Come with us, Mary, come. Along the way, guide every step we take. Lead us to Jesus, your loving Son. Come.
from Vedas Merica. Come Vedas Mary, come Vedas Mary, come Vedas Mary, come. Let us all rise and profess our faith. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Father Francis, our Archbishop, all the bishops, priests and religious, so that they may strive to be pure and holy like the Heavenly Mother. Help them to practice the virtues of faith, obedience, purity and humble service in all through their lives. Let us pray. O oh, gracious Lord, as we are blessed with the new year, we pray for all the women in the world. Bless them to have better life in this new year, so that they may be faithful to Mary, our eternal mother. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you grew in wisdom under the careful guidance of your mother. Bless our mothers to resemble your mother, to mold the children and family. Let us pray. Lord, pray. Eternal Lord, we remember all the devotees of Mary, both Christians and non-Christians, that they may all grow in the love of Mary, who gave Christ to others. Help us also to give all our talents and capabilities for the greater glory of God. Let us pray. Lord, 